Hello class, welcome back to my channel. In this video, uh, i-discuss ko yung mga properties of discrete probability distribution. So, ang first property natin is the the probability of each value of a discrete random variable is between 0 and 1 inclusive. So, meaning, yung ating probability ng kada um, random variable natin is between 0 to 1 lang. Okay? So, pagka lumagpas sa 1 yung ating probability, meaning hindi siya discrete probability distribution or kung bumaba pa sa 0, meaning kung meron tayong mga negatives. Okay? And number 2, the sum of all probabilities is always equal to 1. Okay? So, kung i-add natin lahat ng P of X natin, dapat ang result is equal to positive 1. Okay, so let's have example letter A. So, determine whether the distribution is a discrete probability distribution. For number 1, we have for x, ang ating random variables or yung value ng ating random variable is 2, 4, 6. And their corresponding probability, we have 1 half, 3 fourth and negative 1 fourth. So, as you can see, ang probability na magkaroon tayo ng 6 sa ating random variable is negative 1 fourth. So, meaning, this probability distribution is not a discrete probability distribution. Okay? Since nagkaroon tayo, guys, ng negative probability. So, in real life, um, impos imposibleng magkaroon tayo ng negative. No? So, ang lowest natin na probability na mangyari yung isang event is 0. Okay? So, next, let's have example number 2. Number 2 natin is ang mga values ng ating random variable is 5, 10, 15, 20. And their corresponding uh, probability is 1 over 8, 3 over 8, 1 half, and 0. Okay? So, as you can see, pasok yung ating mga uh, P of X from uh, between 0 and 1. So, it means na yung ang i-check na lang natin is yung Kung ang sum ba ng ating P of X is equivalent to 1. Okay? So, dapat pagka kinuha natin yung total nito, is dapat equivalent to 1. So, okay na tayo dun sa unang property. So, to check, ang gagawin nyo lang guys is ipagpa-plus nyo lahat ng P of X. So, we have 1 over 8 plus 3 over 8 plus 1 half plus 0. Okay? So, dito, uh, since na common denominator naman yung 8, so, pwede natin i-plus kagad yung numerator nito. So, this is 1 plus 3. We have 4 over 8. Then, dito naman, 1 half plus 0. This is 1 half. Okay? So, kung isi-simplify natin si 4 over 8, kung ilo-lowest term natin yan, guys, so that is equivalent to 1 half, then plus 1 half, so we have 1. Okay? So, since ang sum ng ating uh, probability is equal to 1, so ibig sabihin na meet natin yung 2, uh, properties ng discrete probability distribution. So, therefore, itong number 2 natin is an example of discrete probability distribution. Okay? So, next, let's have example number 3. So, a random variable x has the following probability distribution. So, ang ating mga uh, values ng random variable natin are 0, 
3, and 4. Then, yung mga corresponding probability niya naman, we have 0 0.06, 0 0.23, 0.35 and 0.05. So as you can see, uh, blank ko yung ating probability doon sa 2. So first, uh, para makakuha natin yung probability ni 2, so kailangan i-apply natin yung ating property. Kung saan, ang sabi kanina, ang equivalent daw ng sum ng ating probabilities is equal to 1. Okay? So, kung i-apply natin dito yan, so, let's say yung 2 natin is equal to variable k muna. Okay? So, mag-assign tayo ng ano, unknown variable for 2. So, kung ipa-plus natin lahat ng probability, that is 0 0.06 plus 0.23 plus k plus 0.35 plus 0.05 So, dapat ang sum nila ng ating P of X or ng ating probabilities is equal to 1. Then, let us try to solve for the value of K. Okay, so we have 0 0.06 plus 0.23 So, this is uh, 0.29 plus K then, 0.35 plus 0.05, that is 0.40. Okay? Then, equal to 1. So, 0.29 plus 0.40, so this is uh, 0.69 equal 1. So, to solve for K, lipat lang natin yung 0.69. So, that is 1. So, from positive 0 0.69, this time magiging minus yan or negative 0 0.69. So, 1 minus 0 0.69, we have 0 0.31. Okay? So, therefore, ang probability ni 2 is 0 0.31. Yan. Okay? So, next for letter B, uh, we are asked to find the probability na makukuha nating values is x ng, from x is greater than or equal to 3. So, pagkaganto guys, so uh, we have two values of x na merong greater than or equal to 3. Okay? So, ano na yun? Una, we have P of 3. And, meron din tayong P of 4. Okay? Both 3 and 4 are equal or greater than to 3. Okay? So, para makuha natin yung probability ng ating x greater than or equal to 3, ipagpa-plus lang natin yung probability ni 3 and 4. And, that is we have 0 0.35 for P of 3. And, sa ating P of 4 naman, we have... 0.05 So, ang probability na ang ating x values is x is greater than or equal to 3 is we have 0 0.40 or 0.4 Okay? Next, for letter C, we are asked to find the probability na ang x natin is less than 2 so, we have two values na less than 2 ang ating x. And, yun ay yung 0 and 1. So, this time, hindi kasama yung ating P of 2 o yung 2 mismo since wala naman tayong equal doon sa ating um, inequality. Okay? So, try nating isolve yung probability na ang x is less than 2. So, ang P of 0 natin, we have 0 0.06 plus P of 1, which is 0.23. So, ang probability na X natin is less than 2 is equal to 0 0.29. Okay? 
Okay? So, next for letter D, we have uh, P of X greater than or equal to 1 but less than or equal to 3. So, sino, ano yung range ng ating X dito? So, ibig sabihin yan, ang X natin is mag start kay P of 1. Then, we have P of 2. Then, hanggang P of 3 tayo. Okay? So, para makuha natin yung total probability, pagpa-plus lang natin yan, guys. So, ang probability na P of 1 natin is 0 0.23 plus yung probability ni P of 2 which is 0 0.31. Then, yung ating um, P of 3, we have 0 0.35. So, ipagpa-plus natin yan. That is 0.23 plus 0.31 plus um, 0.35. Then, we have a total of 0 0.89. So, ang probability daw na makukuha nating values of x is from 1 to 3 is equal to 0.89. Okay? So, nakuha nyo ba guys? Uh, this is the end of our video. I hope may, nat may natutunan kayo. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!